the next topic from principles of metallurgy is thermodynamic principles of metallurgy that means the thermodynamic basic laws or basic concepts of thermodynamic will helps us helps us to know the theory of know the theory of principles involved in principles involved in metallurgy okay the simple laws of thermodynamics helps us to know the theory involved in metallurgical principles or principles involved in metallurgy here the most important factor in case of thermodynamics gibbs free energy gibbs free energy so which will be indicated with delta g here the value of gibbs free energy or the change in gibbs free energy the delta g is nothing but change in gibbs free energy gibbs free energy according to thermodynamic laws we can derive an experimental or expression for delta g as delta g is equals to delta h minus t into delta s where delta h is equals to change in enthalpy change in enthalpy where delta s is equals to change in entropy change in enthalpy and change in entropy so this is the mathematical expression we can produce for gibbs free energy according to thermodynamic laws delta g is equals to delta h minus t into delta s here while we are going to increasing temperature that means by change by changing entropy and by changing enthalpy there is the change in gibbs free energy takes place and also the negative gibbs free energy delta g minus will also be written as rt ln k where r is equals to constant t is equals to temperature and k is equals to equilibrium constant what is k here it is equilibrium constant so once again we have to learn about k what is equilibrium constant during a chemical process or chemical reactions react reaction when reactants are converted into products reactants are converted into products there is the formation of equilibrium so the resulting it will be represented with a constant that is k so the value k will changes by changing the temperature by changing the temperature here from these two expressions we can give some important notes regarding metallurgy or metallurgic principles first one when a chemical reaction takes place chemical process takes place by increasing temperature by increasing temperature delta s value increases in such case means whenever for a chemical reaction by increasing temperature delta s that is change in entropy value increases when change in entropy value increases when the delta s value increases but delta h become constant at the time delta g will become negative the change for example if the change of delta g value become negative then 
द रियाक्शन टेक्स प्लेस रियाक्शन टेक्स प्लेस सो इन सच केस टी डेल्टा यस इज ग्रेटर देन डेल्टा हेच और डेल्टा हेच इज लेस देन टी इंटू डेल्टा यस Similarly, second condition we can apply from this that is when a two chemical reactions, two chemical processes simultaneously takes place, chemical processes takes place or observed takes place together in a system. the net g value delta g value the net delta g value of reaction if become negative then the overall reaction will occur so what are these two conditions during metallurgy for the isolation of metals from their ores these thermodynamic principles can state that whenever delta g value of our uh, metallurgy or I extraction process becomes negative it favor the isolation process similarly during the extractions there is the possible simultaneous reaction what are simultaneous reaction oxidation and reaction reduction simultaneously takes place while extraction of metal from their concentrated ores happens so this is here now the relationship between delta g and t that is change in gibbs free energy and temperature is plotted plotted by ellingram ellingram by using this ellingram diagram we can explain the relationship between change in gibbs free energy and also temperature of certain chemical processes during the metallurgy or during the isolation of pure metal from their ores here during the isolation of ores as per our previous cases in many times all other forms of ores or metal forms are converted into their oxide forms because oxides will easily participates in reduction to produce our pure metal so during this process reduction takes place reduction process happens here the reduction takes place which will be represented as m x o i would like to consider an oxide m x o when it participates in reduction it converts into x m plus of o2 so the change in gibbs free energy for this equation is equals to delta g m x o and m delta g mx mxo and m similarly when mx reacts with oxygen we can write the chemical equation for this as mxo again the formation of this now the delta g minus change in gibbs free energy will equals to mx and mxo this is here now let us write one simple example for this when carbon reacted with oxygen so it is in solid and it is gaseous form it produces carbon monoxide for this specific reaction we can write the delta g gibbs free energy change as carbon carbon monoxide similarly now the formed carbon monoxide again on further oxidation can produce carbon dioxide for this we can write delta g minus is equals to co and co2 so remember from all four processes the metal oxides 
undergoes reduction that is elimination of oxygen from oxide ores of specified metals to produce our metal so for this production actually in most of the cases we have to use coke the coke will utilizes or coke will useful for the reduction of metal oxides into metal and these are some gibbs free energy change equation we can derive for this or we can write half carbon plus half o2 gives rise to half co so for this reaction also we can express change in gibbs free energy as delta g minus carbon and carbon dioxide so it is o2 of co2 so these are some thermodynamic principles and remember ellingram diagram which is plotted in between delta g value in kilojoule for moles in y axis temperature in x axis will explains what are the optimum temperature required for various reduction processes and oxidation processes and at which condition for the isolation of metal we have to use the suitable reaction mixtures so this is thermodynamic principles of metallurgy